hello friends in this video we will discuss about properties of steam now water vapor is called steam it is the most commonly used working substance in the operation of steam engine and steam turbine steam which has just been formed at the saturation temperature is a vapor which is a partially evaporated liquid carrying in its particle of liquid and under these circumstances it can be liquided back into water by minor changes in temperature or pressure steam as a vapor would not obey the law of perfect gas unless it is in a highly dried condition steam in such a dried state is known as superheated steam superheated steam is assumed to behave like a perfect gas when highly superheated it possesses the property like those of gases relationship between pressure volume temperature internal energy enthalpy and entropy we know that there are three phase of substance namely solid liquid and gaseous water is in liquid phase ois is its solid phase and steam is the gaseous phase the changes of phases take place with the change in its temperature and pressure figure shows different phase of substance of water by adding heat from a to b the temperature of solid substance increase from 0 minus degree to 0 degree celsius at constant atmospheric pressure of 1.01325 bar at point b solid phase start changing from solid to liquid on further addition of heat a point c it completely change into liquid phase the addition of heat from point b to c at constant temperature is called latent heat of liquidification of ice its value is 80 kilo calorie per kg of water from point c further heat addition cause rise in temperature of water at point d on further addition of heat phase change start from liquid to vapor at constant temperature at 100 degree celsius at constant pressure 1.01325 bar at point e liquid phase completely changed to vapor or gaseous phase steam heat from c and d is called sensible heat and heat d to e is called latent heat of evaporation or latent heat the condition of water at point d is called saturated water at this condition vapor formation starts on minor addition of heat and on removal of heat formation of water particle starts at point e there are no water particle in the steam and the steam is said to be dry and is known as dry saturated steam as heating continues further the temperature of steam begin to rise and steam is known as superheated steam and behave more or less as a perfect gas heat from e to f is known as superheat this figure shows you graphically that what happens when heat is added to 1 kg of water initially at 0 degree celsius the temperature surrounding to point b is called saturated temperature saturation temperature increases with increase of pressure and decreases with decrease of pressure 
the addition of a heat from A to B is known as a sensible heat and is denoted by the letter H. As specific heat of water is 1 kilocalorie per kg degree Celsius or 4.187 kJ per kg degree Celsius. Heat required for rising the temperature of 1 kg of water through 1 degree is 4.187 kJ. On further addition of heat, no temperature rise take place up to point C. At point D, steam begins to be formed and at point C, all water is converted into steam. All added heat from B to C is used to increase the kinetic and potential energy of water molecule. This heat is known as latent heat of evaporation or latent heat and is denoted by the letter L. Latent heat decreases with increase of pressure. The value of latent heat becomes zero at pressure 225.4 kg per centimeter square absolute or 220.9 bar absolute. This state is known as critical state. This pressure is called critical pressure and corresponding saturated temperature. 374.14 degrees Celsius is called critical temperature of steam. Between point B and C, content of water will decrease as we go towards point C. At point C, all the water including those particles of water held in suspension will be evaporated. The steam said to be dry and is known as dry saturated steam. The steam which contains water particle in suspension is known as wet steam. On heating further from point C, the temperature of steam began to rise again and steam is now known as superheated steam. The temperature corresponding to point D is known as superheat temperature. The temperature difference between temperature of superheated steam and saturated temperature is known as a degree of superheat. Greater the degree of superheat, the more will the steam acquire the properties of a perfect gas. Superheating is assumed to take place at constant pressure. The value of a specific heat or a superheated steam varies with the pressure and degree of superheat. It increases with the increase of pressure and decreases with the increase of degree of superheat. The total heat content of the substance compares three components namely heat of water or sensible heat, heat of evaporation or latent heat and superheat. The additional heat imported to the dry saturated steam to make it superheated called superheat. It is also known as enthalpy of water. Enthalpy of superheated steam. Enthalpy of water. The amount of heat absorbed by 1 kg of water being heated from the freezing point to the boiling point is known as the enthalpy of the saturated water. It is denoted by the symbol H. Sensible heat of 1 kg of water at degree of 0 degree Celsius is 0. And sensible heat of 1 kg of water at 100 degree Celsius is 4.187 kJ into 100. Enthalpy of evaporation. The enthalpy of evaporation is defined as the amount of heat required to convert 1 kg of water at the saturation temperature corresponding to its pressure into steam at the same temperature and pressure. 
statant heat varies with the pressure its value decreases with increase of pressure the value at 1 bar absolute pressure is 2258 kJ per kg value of latent heat corresponding to any pressure can be directly obtained from the steam tables enthalpy of dry saturated steam it is the sum of enthalpy of water and enthalpy of evaporation it is defined as the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water from freezing point to the saturation temperature and then convert it into dry saturated steam at the temperature and pressure it is denoted by the symbol hs thus hs is equal to h plus l this value can be directly obtained from the steam table corresponding to given value of pressure or temperature of steam enthalpy of wet steam it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water from freezing point to the boiling point and then to convert the boiling water into wet steam obviously such wet steam cell not have absorbed full quantity of latent heat the content of which will be proportional to the fraction of dry saturated steam in the wet steam if x is the per unit content of dry saturated steam in wet steam then h wet is equal to h plus x into l that term x is called dryness fraction and its value lie between 0 to 1 this is further explained below the steam is a mixture of water particle in suspension and dry steam dryness fraction of wet steam is a ratio of the mass of actual dry steam to mass of wet steam if ms is a mass of dry steam contained in the steam consider and m is a mass of water in suspension in the steam then dryness fraction x is equal to ms divided by ms plus m now enthalpy of superheated steam it is defined as the amount of heat required to convert 1 kg of water at freezing temperature into superheated steam at a given pressure and temperature above saturation temperature it is denoted by symbol x sup so x superheated is equal to x plus l plus cp t superheated minus t saturated heat kJ per kg so x superheated is equal to hs plus cp into t superheated minus t saturated specific volume of steam the volume of dry saturated steam in cubic meter per kg is known as specific volume of dry saturated steam its symbol is vs 1 kg of wet steam will consist of x kg of dry steam and 1 minus x kg of water in the suspension where x is a dryness fraction of wet steam specific volume of wet steam having a dryness fraction of x so volume of dry steam plus volume of water particles so x into vs plus 1 minus x into v w where vs and vw denote the specific volume of steam and water as the volume of water at low pressure is very small compared with the steam the term 1 minus x into vw will become still smaller and can be neglected this the specific volume of wet steam neglecting volume of water particle is x into vs meter cube per kg
and density of wax steam is equal to 1 divided by x into Es kg per meter cube. Specific volume of superheated steam. Volume of superheated is equal to Vs into temperature of superheated steam divided by temperature of saturated steam. This SUP is absolute temperature of superheated steam or absolute temperature of saturated steam at say pressure. And Vs is equal to specific volume of dry saturated steam. So friends, all about uh, various vapor formation process will describe in detail in next video. If you like this video then like and share. Also don't forget to subscribe this channel and press bell icon for getting notification of upcoming videos.